Oh, how's it, guys? So, I have to meet with Reedy Klabi. The reason why I'm meeting her is because since she's left 702 and, and stopped being a 702 black, as you would put it, um, I just don't feel like she's aggressively angry enough at the ANC publicly anymore. It sort of feels like she's more neutral, she's more open to other parties, and I hope that she remembers the most important part of South Africa is that we are all colorblind, but not to black people. And she must just remember that. And that's what I'm here for. Um, you see Bias is obviously on the opposite end of the spectrum. And he's, he's a done deal. Can't even fix him at this moment. But hopefully Rudy is more open to just listening and, and hearing me out and maybe fixing this thing and, and making it more obvious once again of her 702 blacktitude and how she's very high corner against the ANC. Oh, hello. Hi. What's this now? Um, I saw it on Oprah. Um, it's the talk show host greeting, isn't oh, it? Okay, I need to catch up. Thank you. So, listen, my doll. You have changed a lot since 702. You've gone to the SABC. You've just become um, a lot more black. And I miss the days of like 702 black, you know, um, when you dialed it down a lot. So, first of all, please tell me your definition of what a 702 black is, because I think you've forgotten. Oh my word, I'm so overwhelmed by what you've just asked me. I, I never went into the studio with this notion that there's a 702 black and a South African black. Is that how it came across? Okay, you know what, this is, this is what I'm talking about because, you know, when you were on 702, you were for us. Um, and now that you've gone to the SABC, you've gone past Glen Horov, um, I'm for South town. Africans. No. I'm for all South Africans. What are you talking about? You Even your hair is curlier I now. Think you you've got an afro. Um, What's going on, really? I think, please, bring it back. I'm still the same. I still believe the same thing. I'm still a social justice warrior. I don't know if in the DA or the DA people that you know, whether you talk about social justice at all, I don't know. We do. Um, we definitely talk about the fact that Tasha's doesn't have skim milk anymore. But now, Reedy, I, I, honestly, it's because you're not understanding what I'm saying. When Jenny Cruz Williams left you the show and said, you know what, you can work here, CC, this is not what she wanted. She wanted you to kind of give the same mandate, you know, books, science, DA. But, you know, don't you think that we need to get out of our comfort zones mm -hmm. as South African? We need to help people like yourself and your supporters to really get to grips with the real South Africa. Mm -hmm. But you need to start confronting the society that you live in. I don't know whether you feel that's important or not. I do. Yeah. But you know what? Um, yesterday was Alex shut down. Yes. I just, I was so, so scared. Of really, what? I, of the blacks coming into the suburbs, because you know, usually at 6 p.m. Hambakaya. That, that, that uh, surprises me, because I look at you and I'm about to stereotype you. Maybe I'm wrong. I love stereotypes. But the people who scared you from the total shutdown, they're the same people who are serving us here. They're the same ones who probably cleaned your house. They're the same ones who probably walked you to school when you were young. So I'm wondering why they suddenly scare you, because well, you know them, right? One at a time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mob, <laughs> it's too... Uh it's too much. What do you think about state capture, ace, the whole thing? Okay, so I really think that state capture is a cancer. I think that people are in denial about the extent. State capture steals from the people, whether it was done during apartheid or wow. now. But I find it very interesting that people like yourself seem very vocal about uh, state capture that's conducted by people of a certain hue. There's accounting irregularities and there's corruption. We mustn't get the two confused. Um, corruption's black, yeah. accounting irregularities. Why black, do you so think corruption is black? Corruption is from the word eruptos, mm -hmm. and it is the Greek word for black, and that's why it can only, it can only be for them. Um, and then accounting irregularities, because Steinhoff, they made mistakes. They're honest people, white people don't lie. Okay, where do you read this stuff? Um, in Helen Zilla's biography. So, it's just how it goes. Um, you, you know, you mustn't have the confusion and you mustn't say, you know, apartheid was corruption. It wasn't. Okay. It was a mistake. All right. It hurt a lot of people. Yeah. But it was a mistake. And you said, sorry, TRC, and I'll get over it. Like, it's, it's a long you time. You should be arrested for your views. What do you think about this whole land thing? And not forgetting that Zimbabwe realized its mistakes and they're now giving people compensation. Well, I'm not sure that Zimbabwe really realized its mistakes, and I think that the media has been quite irresponsible in not always reporting the success stories. And I'm not talking about the big commercial farms, because that's always been the focus. I'm talking about the small subsistence farming that still is going on in Zimbabwe, but that's a story for another day. Land restitution 
is a human right. This country is not going to go forward until we correct the wrongs of the past. Farmers are holding on to land that they're not even using. We just don't want black neighbours because then there's going to be a shabin, okay, then it's like it. in the townships, then, I mean... What's wrong with that? Shacks, it's just... It's What's wrong with that? Well, no... We need to... integrated housing, by the way. No, this no, idea no, that no, we're no, sitting no. in these suburbs, there, sh there should be a low-cost housing structure down the road. <laughs> low-cost, not a shack, low-cost housing. I mean, this area is a bit middle low-cost. Um, it's not on the line of caucus. <laughs> Further up the road where I live... Line of caucus? I've been hearing a lot about yeah. that in the media. It's this protected land. I'm worried about you now what? because your membership will be revoked if you continue this um, angry black thing. You know happening. what? You can have my membership if I ever had it in the first place. No, thank you. Okay, well, I've tried, guys. Um, that's all I can get from her. Um, I'm hoping still to instill that, that she needs to come back home. Um, I feel that she misses it. But I do want to ask you if you want some of my croissant because it is amazing. Yeah, OK. I'll, I'll have a bite. I don't need carbs, but this is... I'll um, have a, for, you, for you, I'll have a bite. It's just a Pesach. As a, um, they as don't an have any act, flour, no happiness, no joy. As an no act of solidarity yeah. and hoping that you also think about the things that I shared with you. But I think I've done a good job today. Um, I think she's coming back.